Hi and welcome back here to Mixed Reality TV. My name is Sebastian Ang and in this video I'm going to give you the final answer to the question How good is the tracking for the Windows MR controllers? Welcome here to Mixed Reality TV. Now, if this is your first time here and you would like to stay up to date about anything Windows MR and the VR and AR industry in general, subscribe now and click the bell button so you don't miss anything. So you might be considering to buy a Windows MR headset, but you're wondering how good is the controller tracking and will I be able to play all the games because you've heard if the controllers get out of your field of view, they won't track anymore. Now, great that you have found this video because in this video, I'm thoroughly going to check it out for you. I'm going to play several games in which you really need to have good tracking, like for example, a table tennis game or a climbing game. So definitely something where you really need good tracking. Also, this longbow game where, well, you, you track, your controller is going to be out of your field of view. So in this video, I'm going to give you the final answer. How good is the tracking for the Windows MR controllers? And now let's directly delve into the games and let me show you how well it really works. All right, and we're starting here with the lap. To be more specific, Longbow, the bow and arrow game. So lots of people thought, okay, probably bow and arrow games are not going to work since you're going to move your right stick out of your field of view when you're pulling the arrow back. So I think that is really a perfect game to show you that actually, I can tell now, it works perfectly, but at least in this game. So when I'm pulling back the arrow here, it is not in my field of view because I'm actually looking at the things that I want to hit, those little guys who are running towards the gate. And there's really no difference whatsoever if I would play this with the Oculus Touch, for example, or with the Windows MR headsets, tracking works perfectly. And yeah, just, just see for yourself how well I can shoot the arrows and I couldn't feel any difference, it works fantastic. And this mini game actually is so much fun, it's great. For all of you who want to play this as well, it's called The Lab and uh, it's a collection of mini games actually. And you can get it completely free of charge on Steam VR. Since the 15th of November you can play all Steam VR games if you have a Windows MR headset, you simply Go to Steam and you look for the Windows Steam VR Preview, you install it and that's it. It's so easy and you can get all the games, all the apps on Steam VR on your Windows MR headset and this is one of them. Now the next game that I wanted to check out with the Windows MR controllers is Racket Fury and Racket Fury is so good. Oh my goodness, I love this game. As you can tell, it's a table tennis game and I love to play table tennis in the real world. Yes, sometimes I do go out into the real world and play table tennis and that is so close. You wouldn't believe it. You have to try out Racket Fury. I'm not getting any money for saying that. This is just true. It is so good. And for the tracking, again, no difference to my Oculus Touch whatsoever. I normally play this game with Oculus Rift with the Oculus Touch controllers, but uh, with I'm using here Revive to play it on the Windows MR headsets. And yeah, it's it's great. Well. It doesn't feel as ergonomic, the controllers are not as nice as the Oculus Touch, but this video is about the tracking. And tracking-wise, I have no problems whatsoever with Racket Fury. So now, let's have a look at the next game. The next game that I wanted to check out here together with you is called Climbee. For all of you who don't know that game, it's, well, as the name might suggest, it's a climbing game and it relies heavily on the controller tracking. Everything works with your hands. You have to grab the walls. You can jump by kind of um, pushing you away from the ground like now. And of course, then you have to grab the wall in order to climb up like I did just now. So everything relies heavily on the controller tracking. Like now, for example, I need to jump and I jumped, uh, I jumped too high. So I have to start here from the beginning. 
And again, it works just fine. No difference whatsoever as compared to the Oculus Rift. Actually, if you only have two base stations with the Oculus Rift and do the front facing tracking, then this tracking is even better because on the Oculus Rift, if you face away from the base stations, then your controllers won't be able to get tracked and you will need a third base station in order to make it really good. But here with the Windows MR controllers, you don't need that because no matter in which direction you look, your controllers will be tracked. And that is really cool. So now have a look at this mirror here. Now you can perfectly see how the controllers are being tracked. And I think it's pretty impressive how accurately it works. Even when my, my hands are spread and far away, like now, for example, it still works even though they are out of my personal view, out of my personal FOV. Now, the reason for that is that the cameras on the headset have a bigger FOV than the FOV that I actually see within the VR glasses. So just have a look at the mirror and see just how good the tracking is and how far away my arms could actually be away from each other. And it's still working nicely. Now, is this tracking perfect? No. It's not. Still, compared to the Vive, for example, or compared to a three base station setup with a Rift, it is not as good. But in game, you won't tell it. So let's try now to lose the tracking. For example, what I can do, I can put my arms up and then I can simply look down. So now it should lose tracking. And now I move, you see, now there's a hand. <laughs> yeah, but I got the hand back once they get into my field of view or the field of view of the camera again. Let me try to do that a couple of times now. So here, hands up, I go down with the hands and well, yeah, it still worked pretty, pretty well, actually. Let's do this again. Looking down. And my hands are there <laughs> floating, but as you can tell, directly the hands are again in the right position once you keep on moving. So this is just for the test here to show you, yes, the, the tracking is not as perfect as Vive or three base station Rift, but it's very, very good. Actually, it's awesome. So after these tests, I can confidently say that the tracking here with the Windows MR controllers is fantastic. And actually it's pretty impressive just how easy it is to set up the whole system and to get going. So how do they compare against the tracking of the Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive? So as compared to the Oculus Rift, compared to a two base station setup, these are better because they will still track no matter in which direction you're facing. But with the Oculus Rift, if you're facing away from the two base stations, then the Oculus Rift controllers won't track anymore. However, if you have a third base station for the Oculus Rift controllers, then the Oculus Touch controllers will be better than this. And also against Vive, Vive controllers tracking is still the best in class. However, as you've seen, for all the games that I've played so far, this is good enough. Actually, this is great. And I didn't feel at any times that I'm using uh, an inferior system for tracking. So I can simply give you a thumbs up. Now, in terms of ergonomics though, <laughs> these have a long way to go and in no way can compare with the Oculus Touch, which you completely forget when you are in VR because they are simply so ergonomic. These here are not so ergonomic, unfortunately. So you know you have something in your hand and you, you still, you won't forget it. Like as I forget it when I'm using the Oculus Touch. But well, Samsung, for example, um, they have changed the design a bit, making it a bit more comfortable with the Samsung Odyssey. And I hope in the future, the hardware manufacturers are going to make even more ergonomic controller, controller handles to make these more ergonomic. Anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you will feel now a bit more secure 
or confident in your choice to pick up a Windows MR headset because tracking of controllers works fine. Tracking with the head tracking is even better. I couldn't I couldn't find any kind of um, big difference as compared to the other systems. So overall, Windows MR is fantastic, especially now that you can play all Steam VR games and Oculus games. All right, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not subscribed to Mixed Reality TV yet, do so now. I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.